Welcome everyone back to another Clash of Clans video for our road to Town Hall 12. That's right guys, we're currently in Town Hall 11. We're working on getting to Town Hall 12. We have less than 10 days now and so much to get done in those 10 days guys. I am so freaking excited though because once we get to Town Hall 12, we're of course going to be unlocking another Inferno Tower, another Hidden Tesla, and we'll be able to upgrade our army camps from level 9 to level 10, giving us that extra extra five troop capacity per camp because we have four camps of course that's going to be an extra 20 troop spaces guys this is so exciting i cannot wait but let me show you guys so i don't have any builders available because i actually did start on two new buildings i'm working on the cannon from level six i believe to level seven yep and the archer tower right above it from level five to level six now along with that guys, we do have the gold mine which is being upgraded, it's going to be done in less than a day and a half, the archer queen which will be done in a little under two days, and of course the town hall. But what I really care about upgrading next following the archer tower and the cannon, because we're going to kind of have to give up on them for a bit, is going to be the gold mines. Guys, we have five gold mines we still have to upgrade, they're only going to be 800,000 elixir each so we do have to get that done, so the moment that both of these are done later today, I'm going to immediately get started on working on these gold mines so exciting guys and then i need to also work on the grand warden he's only level 14 at the moment and we can definitely work on upgrading him he has so much room left to be upgraded guys i'm so excited but i wanted to show you guys the absolutely god awful army camp that i tried using before and i could not do anything with because my troops are way too low level. So as you guys can see right here, I have two golems, 20 bowlers, and 16 hog riders. Now the goal was to use the golems as sort of tanking units. The hog riders would then follow them up, taking out any of the defenses that were going after the golems, and then the bowlers would take out all of these storages, basically getting me a ton of dough, or so I thought. Let me hop right into a match and I'll show you guys how it actually does go for me though. Alrighty guys, we just came across this tiny little low low base. Guys, this could actually work out really really well for me right here. Let me put down a poison spell right away, hoping to do a little damage. Oh, it doesn't even damage the archer queen or... Oh man, I was really wrong about that. Alrighty, so what we're going to do actually is we're going to put down one of the rage spells. We're going to then put down a golem. We're then going to put down all of our hog riders. Guys, put down the grand warden just to keep them alive a little bit longer. We're then going to put down another golem. We're going to follow it up along the outside actually by all of our bowlers. These guys are going to do work on the outside of this base. We're then going to see when the hog riders need it and we're going to heal them up. We should be able to hopefully three star this map guys. I'm pretty hopeful here, but I'm not too sure. This could go against our favor, might not go in our favor. So let's see about actually healing these hog riders up really quick. I know they're going to go after this mortar right afterwards, so we're going to keep them in the circle of healing. Great guys, great. The Grand Warden's still following them around, seeing if he can't do his work. Guys, this is going pretty well. We just hit 50%. All these bowlers over here doing a great job taking out all the storages, getting me all that cash, all that gold. They're going to, oh no, the Barbarian King. He's going after those bowlers right there. They can take him out though, no problem, right? Come on guys, you got this. Yes, there we go, there we go. Alrighty, so I'm guessing we might be able to get the Town Hall, but I'm not too sure. The biggest problem with this troop setup that I find the bowlers, too low level, the hog riders, too low level, and the golem, too low of a level. So these bowlers should be able to do a lot more damage, but they're such a low level that they can't really do much. Guys, it's okay. We know they're not going to work for me, but that's fine. We're going to give it just another second just to get rid of this gold storage, but I will see you guys. Oh no, they, they went the wrong way. You know what guys, that's fine. We're gonna end the battle right here anyway. I don't really care about the extra gold at this point. It's over. So no more of that class setup until I've actually upgraded these troops. I am really slacking on all of my gold, uh, or my, all of my dark elixir troops because they really need to be upgraded. Let me show you guys, let me find the uh, lab real quick and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. All of these guys are level two, level one, basically not even having been upgraded. I've really been slacking because I've been going mostly for my Barbarian King and my Archer Queen, as you guys can see. So I really have been slacking. 
but tomorrow's video is going to feature me upgrading the gem mines, or I should say the gold mines. We're also going to be trying out a completely new class setup, guys. It's going to have two golems, I believe three pekkas. Yep, it's going to have three uh, electro dragons, I believe, followed up with five miners and five archers. I'm very excited to try out that new class setup, but I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. And if you did, please be sure to smash that like button, guys. Don't forget to comment your opinion and subscribe to the channel if you are new. As always, have a good one, guys. Peace.